waiting for. Hi guys, it's the Walking Series of Dead here, king of the anime and manga and boxes and a lover of all things geeky here on YouTube. So today's video is going to be a very, very special video for me personally. I'm going to be celebrating the 30th anniversary of Metal Gear and the 30th anniversary of the Metal Gear franchise. Um, I'm a huge, huge, huge geek and there are a few like mediums and franchises that have truly sort of like touched my geeky heart over the years. My first love and it always will be my first love, is pro wrestling, mainly WWF, WWE, massive wrestling fan. It's always gonna be my first love. My second love is always gonna be Metal Gear. My third's always gonna be anime and manga, and then my next one's gonna be Resident Evil, and then The Walking Dead. Um, but I'm gonna be celebrating Metal Gear Solid, something that's truly touched my heart. I can't tell you how much I love it. I've got quite a decent collection, you can't see it all in this video. Um, I love the games, I love the franchise, this is kind of my little way of uh, celebrating and giving back and thanking uh, the series that is Metal Gear. Konami released the first Metal Gear on July 13th 1987. Created by Hideo Kojima, the stealth game came out on the MSX2 and went on to spawn a successful and beloved franchise. As a fan, this video is a love letter to Metal Gear. It's a part of me now, it always will be. It was a part of my childhood, and this is my way of saying thank you to Kojima's son. The Metal Gear series quickly became known as much for its sometimes odd, often intriguing story and themes explored as it did for its amazing cinematics and gameplay. Both are the production of Hideo Kojima's ingenious approach to game development. The shocking moments, the memorable missions and stylistic characters made this series feel much more personal to me like more than a video game. I grew up engrossed with something that felt bigger to me. It's the biggest integral part of my gaming history. So in this part of the video, I'm gonna be talking about how I got into the Metal Gear franchise, what I love about the series, uh, my favorite moments, my favorite boss fights. I got into Metal Gear Solid, woo, back in the PlayStation era. I was about 12 to 13 years old. I got a PlayStation uh, magazine with the, the old school demos, the old like thin packed demo discs. And I used to play Metal Gear, and at first I didn't really sort of like, like it, I didn't really get on with it. Um, maybe the controls were a bit too clunky, or uh, it was sort of like the codec cutscenes. But um, bang, I completed it one day, the demo disc, uh, and I just fell in love with it. And I thought, actually no, this is a really good game, I've sort of been underappreciating just how good this could be. I have to get it when it comes out. So it was finally released, and I went down to my local CB Games underground game market shop. Um, and I've still got this, I traded in like... Jurassic Park and maybe like Ridge Racer and some other really crappy like PlayStation games uh, like Reloaded 2 things like that and uh, I got Metal Gear Solid and this is the original Metal Gear Solid I got when I was a kid back when I was about 13 as you can see on the back there I don't know if you can see that it's uh, got the CB games golden logo still on it and uh, I just fell in love with this game I must have completed it at least 10 times um, in the comment section down below, I want to know how did you guys get into the Metal Gear franchise? I don't have any family. No, wait. There was a man who said he was my father. Where is he? Dead. By my own hand. Big Boss. What? Thank God for those crazy Japanese bastards because I absolutely love Metal Gear and I'm a huge anime and manga fan so for me, uh, Metal Gear and anime and manga, they just come together because they're so close. I absolutely love the story in Metal Gear and the Metal Gear franchise because it's so complex and um, it's very interesting but at the same time it's the only thing I've ever known to mix sort of like cheesy satire and at the same time it mixes really really serious elements and they come together and it works like it shouldn't but it really does work. I know a lot of people don't like it because they think it's too over the top and convoluted or there's too many like uh, plot holes and that sort of stuff but I think it's an incredible story that's been fleshed out over 30 years now. And then you've got the roster of characters in this. My God, some incredible characters. You've got amazingly um, in-depth, layered, detailed, complex characters. Maybe like a Revolver Ocelot or a Solid Snake or a Big Boss himself or even the boss. And then you've got wacky, crazy, cheesy characters like a Psycho Mantis, the Fury, the Pain. Um, you know, and it just somehow works. It combines this, this cheesy satire and this seriousness and it just works inside this universe. Um, and the universe of Metal Gear itself is just crazy. Um, you know, having uh, armoured walking battle tanks and people that are immortal. It just fits, it just works inside this universe. And in any other universe, you just think, this is stupid. But somehow, 
Kojima just pulled it off and it just makes you just you believe that there's a guy that can shoot fucking bees from him. You just go, yeah. Yeah, it's Metal Gear. There's an invisible cyborg ninja. Um yeah, alright, yeah, sure. <laughs> Whatever. It, it just makes sense. Um and it's this series is just packed full of humour and incredible emotion. Like Metal Gear Solid 3 is honestly it's the only video game that's ever made me truly cry. Like at the end of it with uh Big Boss with the salute, the legendary salute, it's just like, wow, like I've just gone on this journey and this guy's had to fight his mentor, his lover, his fucking everything, this person's his everything and he's just had to fight her and kill her um, and he believes that she's a traitor but it's revealed that, she, no, she was a true patriot and I was like, fuck man, that like hit me hard. I was like, wow, Metal Gear. Um, other things that I love, the quotes, there are so many incredible quotes in this series, I could make an entire video on quotes. Um, amazing action scenes whether it's Rex versus Ray and Shadow Moses or Sniper Wolf boss battles or the end boss battles there are so many great action scenes and um the score the music always seems to fit perfectly now I'm in the comment section down below I want to know what do you love about Metal Gear um who is your favorite character in Metal Gear what is your favorite quote from Metal Gear and also what is your favorite sort of like action scene from the series there are honestly so many incredible boss fights throughout the entire Metal Gear franchise and I'm going to talk about my three favourite. Honestly, I'm going to miss out some just really great ones because I'm only going to pick three. Uh, but first up, my first one would have to be Rex vs Ray on Shadow Moses and Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, mainly because just incredible amounts of nostalgia going back to Shadow Moses running on the PlayStation 3. And also there's always that little thing where Metal Gear fans were like, oh, who would win in a fight? Would it be Metal Gear Rex? Would it be Metal Gear Ray? Because Metal Gear Ray was sort of like an anti-Metal Gear. Um, and it was just, you know, we get to clash in mechas for the first time. And it was truly just an epic, epic boss fight. My next favourite boss fight would have to be with the boss at the end of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater in this field of flowers. It just looked really beautiful. Um, the whole game had sort of like followed this journey and it culminated in this fight between mentor and master. Um, and it was truly an emotional fight. Um, and it was just a battle of CQC, uh, the founder and the teacher of CQC. And uh, it truly ended with uh, an incredibly emotional scene. So my all-time favourite Metal Gear boss fight is Grey Fox, the cyborg ninja, versus Solid Snake in Otacon's laboratory. Um, this is kind of a short fight, but it was just sort of like the build-up of this fight. It was so badass. Snake goes down this corridor where all of the genome soldiers have absolutely been just smashed into the walls and there's blood everywhere and there's this really crazy music playing and then you get to it and there's just so many badass, like, quotes from Grey Fox like only a fool trusts his life to a weapon and you know hurt me more make me feel alive again and you just have this good old-fashioned fist fight that's uh, basically it's, it's, it's a homage to their fist fight that they have in the landmines in Metal Gear 2. This franchise has so many incredible moments that have stuck with me all of my life so many funny moments so many badass moments so many emotional moments that touched me and basically I'm going to show you my three favourite moments throughout the entire Metal Gear Solid franchise. Uh, my third favourite is when Big Boss goes to the boss's grave. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. And like a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. That's why she told me. Snake, <laughs> history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed. 
sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. My second favourite moment is something that's nostalgic for the 12, 13 year old teenager for me because it was so badass. My favourite moment from the Metal Gear franchise comes from Metal Gear Solid um, and it's truly an emotional scene for me that always sort of like stuck with me and I always thought the snake was really badass and the Otacon was packed full of like emotion in this and that is the end of the Sniper Wolf boss battle. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. The voice of my childhood was David Hayter as Solid Snake and Big Boss. Just that badass, rusty, grizzly, granite voice that he just pulls off a snake. It's so cool. Um, and, you know, that was just the voice of my childhood. And when they took him away from Metal Gear Solid 5, it really just wasn't the same for me. And I know a lot of fans are like, just get over it, it's blah blah blah, blah. it's only a voice actor, he can't act as a big boss. Just shut the fuck up, man. If you, you're a true Metal Gear Solid fan and you truly grew up with him, you just there was just some sort of like special bond with David Hayter. He was our guy, man, he was our boy. You know what I mean? So much love for David Hayter. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video, if you did please give it the old thumbs up, share it around and subscribe for more Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid, uh, video game let's plays, anime manga videos, all of the geeky shit that I do on my channel. Uh, ending this video I want to give two huge shout outs and thank yous. Uh, the first massive shout out from the bottom of my heart goes to Hideo Kojima. Thank you for the last 30 years of Metal Gear and thank you for the last 20 years of Metal Gear for myself personally. I honestly couldn't imagine this series uh, not being in my life or not being a part of the, uh, being a part of me because it is it's a part of me man the other big shout out is thank you to david hater solid snake big boss you are big boss you are solid snake you are the voice of my childhood uh, all the amazing quotes and emotional scenes that you just filled my my childhood and my teenage years with huge thank you uh, huge shout out much love to both you guys uh, for me, Hideo Kojima is Japan's big icon of Metal Gear, and for me, uh, in the Western world, uh, it's David Hayter. David Hayter is a very much a part of the Metal Gear Solid franchise, regardless if you didn't bring him back for 5 and you changed him for Kiefer Sutherland. I'm a massive fan of David so and Hideo, so I've got to give all my love to those guys. Thanks for watching, please subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.